I come to school because I love to play basketball and hang out with my friends. I love coming to school because of athletics. I come to school because I like to swim and play water polo. I love to come to school because of athletics. I love to come to school to learn new things. I love to talk to my friends. It makes me a better person. I love to learn about math. I get to learn and I also got my softball scholarship. Coming to school every day and being on time every day couldn't be more important. Our goal for you at Northside is that you graduate from high school with tremendous success and that every step towards that goal is important and being on time and being present every day is an important step in that process. School is a place to make friends, join clubs and learn interesting things as you work towards that all important high school diploma. But it can also be tough Coming to school requires commitment and dedication. It means doing your homework and studying. And it also means going to school every day and being on time. Now being at school every day is serious business. In fact, it's the law. There are a couple of things about the Texas attendance law you need to know about. The first is a compulsory attendance law. It means students have to go to school every day. They also have to be in every class unless they have a valid excuse. And when you break the law, there are consequences. A student breaks the law if he or she fails to attend school without an excuse. This would include 10 or more full or part days of unexcused absences. And those absences would fall within a six month period of the same school year. It's a violation of your probation, you understand. You're also not to have any unexcused absences. Students and or their parents who break the attendance law would then be prosecuted in a special court known as truancy court. While everybody else is playing and having fun the first week of summer, you'll probably be over here doing community service, do you understand? got me to this point <laughs> I have to do community service. I missed frequently the first semester and I kind of got in trouble went to attend this court for that. So you need to start acting like you're 12 years old. Do you understand? There are dozens of students who have to go to court for the same reasons. That's because some students and their parents may not realize missing even one class counts as an absence for part of the day. Also, arriving to school late and leaving early when not excused could also count as an absence for part of the day. That's why it's important for parents to get involved. Maxine Hernandez learned this lesson the hard way. She realized she violated the compulsory attendance law as a parent contributing to non-attendance. And now Mrs. Hernandez has some simple advice to help other parents before it gets to this point. Keep track of their records, you know, keep track of their attendance records. Now parents must accept their responsibility to make sure their children get to school on time every day and attend every class on time as well. Oh, do I love making beans. Middle school student Khalil Wright says his parents check his attendance regularly and that makes a difference. He also has some other motivation. One of the main reasons I went to school well, of course, for the learning and um, just to rehearse with all my friends. Studies show that students who are engaged in school, whether it be athletics, fine arts, or any other extracurricular activity, had greater success. Attendance and grades are measures of achievement that have greater success when students are connected to the school. Find a way to be connected to your school. says his parents play a big role in making sure he gets involved in clubs and organizations at school and he believes all parents should do the same. Probably encourage them to do extracurricular activities because that's helped out a lot going to school. Encourages me to go to school. Here at Northside ISD we understand that parents and students can use all the support they can get. That's why teachers and counselors, administrators, attendance officers, and truancy specialists are here to help. On your, each one of your children's names. Mm -hmm. and There's help. also online support on the district website. Just click Parent Connection. You'll find a guide that will explain how you can keep track of your child's attendance and grades. 
Parents can also sign up to receive emails, text messages, and phone calls about their child's attendance through Contact Manager. The information is also sent home with report cards. Now it's important that students get on the right track and stay there. That's why NISD truancy specialists and attendance officers will partner with parents. Because after all, our goals are the same. Help students come to school, stay in school, and graduate. Truancy specialists or attendance officers may visit a child's home when attendance efforts have failed and attempts to contact the parent and student have been unsuccessful. So you can please sign here uh, and uh, we will be also mailing you a copy. Oh, okay. In some cases, a home visit is a few steps away from a student and or a parent having to appear in truancy court to explain to a judge why the student is missing school. That's why campus administrators will immediately develop an individual plan to get a student back on track. Our teachers at Northside provide engaging lessons every day. It is important that you be in attendance every day in order to understand what's going on in the classroom and to reach that ultimate goal of graduation and beyond. Another important part of the Texas attendance law is called the minimum attendance for class credit. It's also known as a 90% rule. Now here's how it works. A student has to be in class 90% of the days the class is offered. And to receive credit, a student cannot have more than eight absences in a class per semester. This includes both excused and unexcused absences. So simply stated, if you're not in class, you're not learning. If he cannot make up those hours, he's in danger of losing credit in that class, even if you're passing, Tony. Yes. There's also a chance to make up for lost time, just as Joshua Jacobo. He had a lot of absences, but after talking to a judge and meeting with his assistant principal, Joshua turned things around. It was really hard to catch up, and then I was really behind in like class, math, that's a really hard one to catch up as well. And, and then also I was falling like out of my social circles or any groups that I normally hung out with. I wouldn't see him as much. Joshua and the assistant principal at his school worked out a plan to attend tutoring and regain class credit. He did so by spending a few hours before or after school, during lunch and in Saturday school, just trying to catch up. And he did it. In school, you're going to have to do it eventually, just get here. The hardest part is getting here. And once you do this, I mean, it's fun. You have friends, you have teachers, you have everyone trying to help you out. Students, you've been doing a great job being in school every day. There are all sorts of ways teachers and administrators get creative to encourage attendance. Pease Middle School holds a friendly competition between each grade level. Sixth grade had the highest daily attendance. At Clark High School, this teacher took it to the football field. Well, sort of, with every class period being represented by a football. Now, the idea is for the class to score a touchdown, but just like in real life, there are obstacles. And these defenders rep represent reasons why, why students choose not to come to school. Things like lack of motivation, skipping, laziness. But then, of course, we have our cheerleaders that um, are rooting for students to come so that they can get good grades, earn credits, and graduate. And aside from the fun, students are truly needed and missed by their classmates, teachers, and the clubs they participate in when they're not in school. These students at Langley Elementary are known for their award-winning chess club. And on a big competition day, they know it's all about teamwork and having everyone at school. He's here today, though? Okay, that's good, because we definitely need him. We know that sometimes there are excused absences, so it's important to turn in doctor's notes and parents' notes within three days of being absent. There was nothing keeping me back but myself. I mean, as soon as I decided to come to school and wake up every morning to get here, that's pretty much the only challenge. Once I got over that, I got here every day. And understanding the laws about school attendance is important, but really understanding that being in school, learning, growing, accepting responsibility, realizing success, and eventually graduating is the goal. 
and together we can make it happen.